trending news. We ask Glock Jonathan to forgive us for holding a swear subsidy and protesting against him in 2012. If there's anyone to apologize to, that person should be turned because we have offended him enough, not once, not twice, but three to thousand times. It is no longer person that should be disrespected. We apologize on the behalf of all every of every other Nigerians in Nigeria. Your Excellency Gulog Jonathan Ebele was one Nigerian president who was highly criticized by Nigerians for many actions taken while in Asorok Villa in Abuja. Let's go memory lane for the purpose of this article that you just want to listen to. Let's focus on the 2012 planned for subsidy remover and what followed after. Nigeria began the new year 2012 with a massive protest occasioned by the increase in the pump price of petrol from 65 naira per liter to 140 naira per liter by the then Gulag Jonathan's administration. Jonathan had planned to remove first subsidy and ensure the deregulation of the oil sector. But this policy of the Gulag Jonathan's administration angered many Nigerians who occupied Nigeria to protest the increase in price of petrol. It was a total shutdown of major Nigerian cities, especially Lagos to be precise. In Lagos, the Freedom Park in Ojota became a meeting point for thousands of Nigerians who gathered daily for the protests. Politicians, musicians, Nollywood actors and actresses, lawyers, and other human rights activists, they also joined in this protest daily to say no to fuel subsidy remover. The Nigerian Labour Congress, the Trade Union Congress, the National Union of Transport Workers, and others were on the top of the game as well. They also say that no to fuel subsidy remover. Gulag Jonathan was verified. He was actually convinced and bullied. They called him many unpaintable names without any reactions. Most of us joined the protest because we believed that those leading us had love of masses at heart, which they don't. You told us that the removal of subsidy would bring about many positive gains in Nigeria, in the economy, back then. You said that the price would later drop due to the competitions that would start to occur among oil marketers. You cited the telecommunications industry as an example for all this you have promised. The then former Minister of Finance, Okonju Uyala was always on the television to explain how the subsidy remover would work. She explained what the nation has been, has been spending too much on fuel subsidy, but we did not care to listen. We did not care to bother because we were all eager to remove Gulag Jonathan from the seat. We believe that he has done a big, a huge mistakes. He, has, he wants to destroy Nigerians, Nigeria totally. She explained that it was a need to save the economy, but we were not moved. 
Then some of those leading the protest were making unsubstantial claims that there was nothing like first subsidy. They said that first subsidy was a scam. We were made to believe that fuel could be sold at a lower price without payment of sus subsidy. That turned out to be far from the truth. Though fraud was later detected in the payment of subsidy to oil marketers. We fell for their sweet talks, their deceiving words. We jump on the streets, carrying play cards with various inscriptions. People made use of the social media to say all sorts of things against the peaceful loving Gulag Jonathan, and nobody was arrested for its speech. Isn't this man a good man? Now Nigerians are regretting ever um, supporting or voting for 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 the presidency. Imagine. This is so incredible. The majority of those who led the protest in 2012 appears to have lost their voices. This same subsidy we protested against in 2012 has now been removed by the de by the now government. The government of President Modu Buhari. When the news broke out on Wednesday that the price of oil has been increased, the federal government said that it was not the one that increased the price simply because first subsidy has been totally removed. Imagine that. Imagine. I looked at this again and I felt it within me that good luck. Jonathan deserves apologies from those of those people who protested against him in 2012. So viewers, you have heard it all from the writer and also from Nigerians apologizing on behalf of their fellow Nigerian citizens, apologizing to Gulag Jonathan to forgive them because they have offended him a lot. They chose President Modupuari, um, they chose President Modupuari instead of him. They drove him out of the presidential seat, thinking that President Modupuari would be better than him. But they never knew that he is even better than President Modi Buhari, that Buhari's administration is going to be worse, worse than his own administration. So they need to apologize to him, no matter what. Even if he's not coming back as a president anymore, but he needs to apologize to, they need to apologize to him. I know that even if they don't apologize, Glorionata is not the kind of person that puts people at heart or that keeps malice. Apologizing or no apologizing doesn't matter, but they need to be apologized to. Because of all the unpitable names that they called him in 2012. So viewers, what is your take concerning this name? If you have any comment, please don't hesitate to drop every of your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish any new videos. And please, don't forget, like and also share this news with friends as well thank you as you do have a pleasant day bye